What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a kill and death counter command creation. Uh, this does work for multiplayer and it does work for either players or mobs for the kill counter. So just to show you guys, I have 2,375 for my kills. I'm going to go ahead and kill this slime here. Uh, and I should now have 2,376. Let's kill this one. 2,377 and let's just pick one uh, this sheep uh, so I kill this sheep and 2,377 so yeah it works for that and you can also make it work for players that's the command for the players you just replace the two repeating commands and I have a death counter so let me go to game mode survival uh, the death works for any way possible so I'm just gonna fall down down here and die uh, and you guys now see that I have a death of six so let me go ahead and die by this slime and I should go to seven after I die by the slime come on kill me slime kill me slime kill me so now I should be at seven and yep I'm at seven so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this for your world so game mode uh, let's go back to C and this is the commands like that's it right there don't worry about this I don't even know what that is uh, so yeah let's go ahead and look at them so I'm gonna take this command and I'm going to move it over here and this one is for players so I'm gonna show you this line uh, if you want this to be for non players and this is for like entities and stuff and players but you know there's a lot of lag with it if people start joining this is the command you guys can write it down. I'm not going to put it in the description or anything. The rest I will, but this is something for you guys watching the video. So, yay. All right. So, now this one is going to do scoreboard players set at all mob one. Uh, I made a scoreboard objective. So, let me just show you the ones that I made. So, if we go to scoreboard, objectives, add. Uh, you can see that I made an alive, I made a death, I made a display, I made a kill count, I made a kill scores, I made a mob, and I made a mob type. So you need to make every single one of these into a dummy. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and come back over here and do the scoreboard player set it all to mob 1. Uh, so that's basically anybody in the game is going to be set to a score of mob 1. Uh, right after that, we're going to have a chain unconditional always active, and it's going to be executing at E scores equal mob 1, uh, negative 4, kill at E type equals silverfish count 1. Uh, so you guys probably already saw there, if I come over here, and you guys could see, I have some silverfish dying right there. Uh, so you do have to play in easy mode for this to work, <coughs> unless you want to use a neutral mob like a bat or something. Uh, by the way, I just want to apologize for my voice. I do think I'm getting sick, but let's go ahead and move on. Execute at E scores equal mob equals one summon a silverfish. So as soon as it kills a silverfish, it will immediately summon a silverfish in its replace. And it will continuously do that and add them to an alive score of zero. So it's constantly killing and adding them to an alive of zero. That's what this is. And once it does that, it'll still be all chain unconditional all the way until uh, I tell you here in a second, guys. Um, it'll execute at mobs, and then it'll do score player set a silverfish alive one. So it will set one silverfish to a live score of one. So there's going to be one, and the rest constantly die. So it's just doing test four. Um, yeah, that's basically as best I can explain it. Uh, then after that happens, any it'll execute at any entity, you know, most likely the player, uh, for a mob of one, unless you're going to do the other ones. Uh, and then it'll do scoreboard players, operations, at a silverfish count one to mob type, at a scores equal mob one count one mob. So basically, it's this right here, this command, in other words, is linking the silverfish alive score of one to the entity or the player or the mob that has a mob of one uh that's kind of mind-blowing right there so just trust me on that one uh, that's what it's doing and then this one is execute at e type equals silverfish scores on alive zero count one 
summon a firework rocket. The reason I did that is so I have another entity to kind of base the scores off of. So if I kill this silverfish or this um, deal here, you'll see a firework rocket appeared. Um, and my kill count went up from 77 to 78. So let's go back over here. And that's what I'm doing with that. So let's just go back to right here. It'll summon the firework rocket. And then after that, it will kill the silverfish with an alive of zero. It will then add the player to a kill count of one, the closest player, which would be the player that killed the entity or the player. And this one will execute the firework, execute the closest player to the firework, and add them to a kill count of one. Once that happens, it will then execute at E type equals fireworks, the closest within five blocks or so. So you have to be close when you kill mobs or players for it to basically work. And then you do the scoreboard players, operation players, kill scores equal at the player's kill count. So it's basically linking player's kills to player scores kill count. And then this one over here is the death counter. These two are the death counter. So this one is executing at all that have a level of zero. It's going to add them to a death. So the moment you join the game, you might be added to a death score. But don't worry. It's just a glitch with the game. But if it doesn't, then you'll be immediately added to a level one. You might be able to, you know, add this command in front of it. Just so that you do do that. And only when you die... Uh, it does that. So basically when you die, you go from level 1 on your experience bar to level 0 because you died. So I then can execute a death command. Now this was found by Samster when we were looking for a death method. And yeah, so that's pretty sweet. Now this one over here is just doing the display. So since execute, executing at all players, scoreboard players operation at self display equals self kill count. So that allows me to show you guys this display on the list here for my specific kills without having to in, like mess with any of these kills because we are using a fake player, which is the player, which is this one. Scoreboard players add a fake player kill count to one. So make sure you guys follow every single one of these to the T for the commands to get this to work. It's super complicated. I know I'm not the best at explaining. I'm good at creating, but explaining i'm super horrible and i'm sorry for that but if you guys did enjoy hit the like button subscribe if you're new and let me know in the comment section below what other cool commands or add-ons or anything in the world that you guys would like to see on the channel i'm dick on black rose and i'm out